An ad campaign in Germany is raising the alarm about protecting your children's digital privacy and preventing the devastating effects of deep fakes. One of Europe's largest telecommunication providers is now using a chilling new ad of an AI-generated deep fake to show how posting images of your kids on social media could give complete strangers enough data to abuse them. I'm talking about posts of ordinary events like birthdays or videos of your kids just being silly. Just take a look at this ad and remember what you're seeing is not real. Hey mom, hey dad, it's me, Ella. Well, a digital version of me, just a bit older. Amazing what technology can do these days, isn't it? All you need are a couple of pictures, like the ones you share on social media, where they can be taken and used by everybody. News Emmanuel Saliba joining me now to discuss. You know, we all want to protect our kids. Uh, seeing that ad is is chilling to the core for me, especially as a mom. Let's just talk about AI and how it has made things worse and, and how it can put our kids in danger, not only now, but for years to come. I, Kira, I'm a mom too, and it's something I think about very intentionally ever since my daughter was born because we're all prone to wanting to share those special moments, but uh, we've known for a while the dangers of oversharing both our personal information and our children's personal information, but AI is supercharging those risks. Uh, it can be used in a variety of ways, and one way that we are seeing both, you know, I think this video illustrates that is, it can replicate your children's voice, it can replicate their likeness, and uh, we're gonna see that in an example that, that they show in this ad. Let's take a look. I know, for you, these pictures are just memories. But for others, they are data. And for me, maybe the beginning of a horrible future. A future where my identity can be stolen just like that. Where I can go to prison for things that I would never do. Imagine my credit score being destroyed, Dad. Or my voice copied to scam you, Mom. Mom, I'm in trouble. I, I need you to send me money, please. So pretty dramatic uh, video there, but you can see, you know, I wanna stress that this video, they're using actors, they use a child actor and then they use a uh, adult actor and they use AI technology to change their, their face, to make her, to appear older and to talk to her parents about the dangers. Um, we've seen some of these and we've reported on some of these dangers like the use of AI to replicate your voice, which we see in that video. And we've already done stories mm -hmm. on on the fact that this has happened. There are scams out there where parents are getting messages. It sounds like they're kids. It's, it's this type of AI that's doing that. Uh, four years ago, I did a piece on deep fakes and how predators are able to take pictures of whomever they want and create these videos that look like the real person. So I guess you know, the ad even touched on the fact that this type of technology can be used um, for child sexual abuse material as well. Um, now that's taken it to a whole nother level. Is there anything being done at least to try and combat that part of it? So Hopefully, uh, there is actually something being done. I spoke to Thorn. They're a nonprofit organization that focuses on combating uh, online sexual abuse that targets children. And they're using the power of machine learning algorithms combined with AI to create tools that will find and remove this type of content online so that we can make finding victims and predators a much easier and quicker process. So that's, you know, there's hope there and we can use this, this technology for good. Um, and that, that was something hopeful. So what are some things that parents and guardians can proactively do right now to prevent identity abuse? And if they do decide to post something like a family photo or video on social media, should they do it? <laughs> I mean, I, I think everyone has to make that personal decision. Uh, it would be best not to share anything about your of your children publicly, because as you see in this video, every image, 
Every video, every sound is data that piles up over the years and that can be used by criminals to later um, steal your child's identity or to recreate their likeness or their voice. And your child is powerless against that. Uh, but one thing you can do is if you want to share something online is to do it privately on a, a private page that only your family and your friends are part of. Or another option is not to share any photos that have their face. Maybe you just share a photo of their back. Don't share any names, personal information, birthdays, post on a delay. So I think there are many of ways in which we can share those beautiful moments, but be smart about it. Great advice, Manuel Saliba. Thank you. Thank you, Kira. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.